Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. I am at the ESS booth with Julie. Julie, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Awesome. So yeah. what does ESS stand for? So ESS is Eye Safety Systems, um, and we are super glad to be here at NRA. How many different product lines do you have, basically? So we have about, so we have six different sunglasses, and we have four primary eye shields, and we also make a full uh, goggle line. And what's unique about ESS is all of our product families either meet or exceed the military standards for safety eyewear. Um, so you know that if you're wearing even our sunglass line, you're going to get a higher level of protection than you would if you were just wearing a, a basic ANSI standard sunglass. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about somebody like myself? I wear prescriptions. How do how do I get into your product line? Okay, so we have four um, sunglasses that can accommodate a prescription. Okay. Um, two of them have a fixed lens. Two of them can be interchangeable. And then we also have a um, eye ins uh, R It's an RX insert, um, and that's a great. RX solution on the inside of the frame without changing the ballistic integrity on the outside. So it's a it's a, it's an RX insert um, that you can put into an eye shield or also it can also be put into a goggle as well. Um, so this is our RX insert. It's a great way to have an RX solution on the inside without changing the ballistic integrity of your eye pro on the outside. So then it just simply clips in and out, right? Mm -hmm. yep, so you just p kind of pinch the... Or I'll the, let you do that. Yeah, so you just pinch the nose piece together oh, okay. and then it comes right out. And that insert can also be used in our goggles as well. Really? Mm-hmm. In, in, in uh, the profile and also the influx goggles. So speaking of goggles, so do you use any special coatings or sprays to keep it anti-fog? We do. So we have a... Um, we're, we float coat and dip coat all our eye shields as well as our goggles. What's float coat? Um, so it's... they. It's a, it's a primary coating that they do on the outside to prevent scratching, and then they also do a coating on the inside uh, to prevent fogging, and then in addition to that, then it gets a secondary dip coat. Okay, interesting. And how about colors? We have quite a few colors, um, primarily black and tan 499, but we're also getting some really great new colors in. We have a matte navy, a matte olive that are really sharp looking, um, and that is in our sunglass line. We also offer a um, white cold weather goggle in the influx line. Um, we have many different lens tints um, that depending on the lighting condition or, or the application that you're using the eyewear, um, we have all the way from clear to polarized lenses, um, and then we even have a photochromatic. Yeah, I think you told me you said like over 300 SKUs. We do. That's yeah. crazy. That's yes. a lot. Of, it, lot. It's you a would lot think. of SKUs, but we, we try to make ESS, you know, something that's unique to our company is we try to have the, ponen, the components of the eye pro be replaceable. Right. So if, if something, you know, you need to replace a lens or a nose piece, you can replace those components without having to be burdened with the cost of replacing your entire eye. Right, set. obviously. Yes. Something I'd seen yesterday too was if you wear ear pro, mm -hmm. where, where is that frame? So we have the, it's called the crossbow suppressor. Okay. So from hinge pin back, it's got a, a very, very flexible temple arm, and that is intended to eliminate those hot spots and pressure points that you get when you're wearing um, ear pro, and it also doesn't break the auditory seal. Fantastic. Anybody else doing that or not? I've never seen that you know, before. I'm, I'm I've not, never seen that. I'm not aware of that either. I know that we you know, have thin, thin temple arms and, and, and different, you know, based on use and application, but this this one is specifically designed for muffs, um, and so I, you know, that, I'm not sure if that, if we have competitors. Purpose of that? So we have a little retention strap, so all of our products um, come with a hard case, a soft case, um, and then any, any of the eye shields that have this little hole, it has a retention strap, and that is, a, it's a, it's really great to use in all of your eye pro you can hang them around your neck but it's especially important when you've got the suppressor on when you take those muffs off this is you know intended to be very loose on the face and so that having that retention strap in can just really help prevent it you know from falling off your face. right so my, my my next question is obviously people have different shapes mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you have a different face mm -hmm. profile from mine mm -hmm. how do people is that a concern or not just a simple frame design keeps it on your ears in your head well so we have um we have different fit options one oh, you of do. the newer products okay. that we have um out on out is called the cross um, blade okay. and that comes in a regular fit and also a narrow fit and between those two um 
between those two individual eye shields, they can be customized four different ways. And so one thing that we like to encourage people, especially if you're buying for like a, a, a maybe a shooting team or you've got your whole family that you would like to outfit with the eye pro, um, you can buy a cross blade deluxe kit okay. and within that kit you're going to get the components to be able to interchange you'll have two complete eye shields and also additional backup lenses and nose pieces that can be customized to fit four different face styles oh that's awesome mm -hmm. all right so you got anything else we do we've got um you know just all of our products like i said new york see the military standards for safety eyewear right um and so proudly made in the u.s awesome and we're just so excited to be here and be a part of the nra convention and uh, appreciate the support all right Thank you. Now that wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> oh, that's going to go on the blooper reel. No.